from the author of Spinsterella, a strange and unusual romance in Spellbound, a darker shade of black gum, the legendary Mad Killer. Pick up the conclusions of the Spinsterella trilogy in paperback and key readers this Halloween. When I look at Marvel Comics and DC Comics, I see two companies that are in crisis. And both companies are struggling because they desperately need a change in management. And when I look at both companies, I see two companies that are in desperate need of someone with a solid publishing background. Moreover, they need someone who can be a strong leader, who can inspire all those creative people to bring their best work to the table. Now, a lot of people will look at DC Comics and say, oh, they're managing the problems, but you want to do more than manage a problem when you're running a business. And as it stands right now, your Dan Dido, your Jim Lee, your Bob Harris, they have all had enough time at this company. And if the best they can do is manage, then it's time for them to go. As I see it with DC Comics, they desperately need a leader in charge of this company. And they need someone with a vision to take comics into the 21st century. Because as it stands right now, if the best Dan Dido and his cohorts like Jim Lee, Bob Harris, and Jeff Johns can do is manage the company, then they're not qualified to work and run DC Comics. DC Comics, as I see it, yes, they're faring a little better now, but I remember in 20, 2002 when the problem started, when you hired a grossly unqualified Dan Dido to be the editor-in-chief at DC Comics, and he derailed the company with stories like Identity Crisis and Infinite Crisis, and then allowed them to come in with this new 52, which derailed DC sales. Yes, Rebirth has managed to pick some things up, but that's just not good enough as I see it, because for you to have a two-year storyline and sales continuing to struggle, that's just not good enough for a, a publishing house to, rem to remain competitive. If a publishing house is going to be competitive, they need somebody who can lead you to those strong sales. And as I see it, this Rebirth storyline has gone on far too long and has not really merited any sort of growth that is substantive for DC Comics. This is why I say they need a serious publishing professional, someone who understands the post-2008 publishing industry, which after the 2008 publishing industry collapsed, we saw a completely different marketplace, and someone who understands how to try to reach new readers for the 21st century. Because as it stands right now, most comic readers are waiting on the sidelines, and what they're waiting for at DC Comics is that change in leadership. I have heard from so many people on social media saying that they want Dan Dido and the DC editors that are in charge right now to leave because they just don't trust them. Even if they brought back the old DC universe, they say as long as these guys are in charge, they just don't trust them to run the company, and they don't trust them enough to actually go out and buy comic books on the regular. What many DC fans are waiting for is that change in management, because to them, the post dido regime would mean that they have an incentive to go and buy these comics, because there would be a face in charge at the company that they can trust. And that's what people are looking for as it relates to DC Comics. They're looking for Warner Brothers executives to come in, fire this group of editors, bring in a new editor-in-chief or in publisher with a vision and a direction for the company. Moreover, they're looking for someone who is going to be a face for the company that they can trust. They're looking for someone that they can respect, someone who they can believe in, and someone they can feel confident when they go to that comic book store every Wednesday to go out and buy new comics. With that face as the face of the company, DC Comics can pretty much get its footing back and start bringing those readers off the sidelines back into the comic book stores. And that's pretty much what DC needs to do in order to get itself back together, which is bring back that classic DC universe and then bring in that editor who is going to be the leader of that company and the face of the company that regains the trust of all those readers. Now, as I look at Marvel, I also see serious problems 
with their company due to the leadership of Axel Alonso and Tom Beverett. Because as I look at their company, I see a completely different situation. And that situation has to do with them being weak, ineffective managers who have not gone out of their way to establish any sort of structure or leadership at the company. And in fact, what is happening now with Marvel is that we have the creators running the company and the editors just sitting back and letting them do whatever they want. And that's not how you run a publishing house. A publishing house, yes, it's a creative place, but it is a place that is filled with structure. And if people do not understand what the structure is, they're going to create forms of media that just aren't right for the company. And that's what's happening right now with this so-called diversity campaign. You have a lot of people creating media that does not fit the mission of Marvel Comics or the original intention of many of these heroes or the direction of the company. And because you have people pushing their own identity politics in the comics, many of the readers are alienated and they just don't want to buy these comics because they grew up with Steve Rogers as Captain America, they grew up with Tony Stark as Iron Man, they grew up with Peter Parker as Spider-Man, and they grew up with these characters, and they want to see these characters in Marvel Comics. What's really sad about Marvel Comics is that they're raking in billions of dollars with superhero movie adaptations based on the original source material. However, the next generation of readers can't come in to go buy these comics because they're these because these writers and editors are just doing their own thing and making their own characters and that's what's killing sales as it relates to the publishing division not only with the veteran readers who are 40 plus who've been buying these comics for 20 years but it's also impeding and hindering younger readers from coming in because they're coming out of a movie like a Captain America Civil War or Avengers or Iron Man and they want to see excuse me, Tony Stark in action, they want to see Steve Rogers in action, and they want to see Peter Parker in action, and Thor in action. That's what they want to see after they come out of the movie theater, but when they go to the comic book store, and they try to find these comics, or they go to the Barnes & Noble, or Amazon, they're seeing female Thor, black female Iron Man, Miles Morales Spider-Man, Falcon Captain America, and they're saying to themselves, this isn't what I saw in the movies. And because things aren't, aren't consistent, and things aren't synergizing between the film division and the publishing division, the publishing division's sales have hit an all-time low. And things have declined even worse because you have a lot of grossly unqualified people working at Marvel. And again, that's all due to the lack of leadership at Marvel because they don't have a strong leader to set a direction for the publishing division. And they're just, again, managing. And you cannot manage a publishing house. You have to have a leader. A leader is someone who sets a direction for a company, they set a tone for a company, and they set concrete goals for everyone to eat meat. Moreover, they set standards for what products are and what products are supposed to be. And what Marvel really needs is a editor who can be a strong leader in the way Jim Shooter was a strong leader. Now, a lot of people don't like Jim Shooter because they think he's abrasive and tough, but there was a reason why he had to be abrasive and tough, because he understood that in order for you to sell comics, comics all have to meet a certain standard of quality. Characters have to remain consistent from story to story, and they have to remain consistent in terms of quality as relates to the art you need to maintain a level of standards in order for readers to feel confident to go out and buy these books. Because if people see a consistent standard as it relates to quality, they're going to feel confident not only about buying these books, but sharing these books with their friends. This is why the shooter period was one of tremendous growth, because he established high quality standards for Marvel Comics, and he led the team. Because he was a strong leader, Marvel was able to gain ground in sales. And what they need right now is a strong leader at Marvel Comics. Because as I see it right now, your Axel Alonso and Tom Beverett, yes, they're good editors, but they're not strong leaders. Marvel desperately needs a solid publishing professional 
to come in, again, who understands the post-2008 publishing world and understands the publishing marketplace and is focused on developing a strategy to make the Marvel brand of publications competitive. And that type of person would understand how front lists work and they wouldn't they would understand that you only need maybe about 12 to 16 titles on a front list for your comics and they would also understand that you would want to try to keep pushing backlist titles because backlist titles are money in the bank and these are your reprints of your old issues like your trade paperbacks your essentials and your omnibuses because this type of material it's going to bring in the older readers and it's going to bring in the newer readers who want to learn about the history of Marvel Comics. And in order for people to be able to follow that history, you need to have your continuity straight. And this is a big problem that has derailed both DC and Marvel Comics because at both companies, the continuity was derailed because you hired people in management positions and editor executive positions who did not understand the product did not understand the brand, and did not understand how to lead people in a creative medium. Because once you start making changes to a universe, or you start doing things like having kill lists like they had for Infinite Crisis, or you do a reboot like New 52 or Secret Wars, that derails the momentum that you would have for a publishing house of comics. Because People don't have an incentive to go out and buy the backlist titles unless they're older, and the people who are younger are going to start buying the books and the, from the begin from the reboot part, and the older people aren't going to buy the reboot books because they have been alienated, and that cuts off your revenue streams overall, and that's what's been killing the comic book industry ever since I say about 2002, and it's gotten worse since 2011 with the launch of the New 52 the Convergence, and then the Rebirth on the DC side, and on the Marvel side with the Secret Wars, the All New, All Different, and the new SJW agenda, it's gotten worse over there, and that's cut off all the sales because people don't feel connected to these characters anymore, and because they don't feel connected and identify with the characters anymore, they have no incentive to go back in the character's history or forward in the character's history because, in most cases, most of these books get canceled within six to eight issues, and then about a year or two later, after a long meandering storyline, we get another reboot. And that what that does is it cuts off all the incentive for the customer to come back to comics. A lot of customers want to come into comics, but what they really want to see is a strong leader at the top, someone who's going to establish some sort of structure for rules, some sort of structure for standards, some sort of structure for quality, and someone who is going to lead people and inspire them to do their very best work. Someone who will establish a standard that substandard will not be their standard, and that only the best will come from the big two. Because as it stands right now, the big two are being run like some sort of self-publishing operation out of somebody's basement and not run like a professional publishing house because at a professional publishing house there are standards for quality there is a house style and there is leadership and there are plans for selling comics on the regular there's a marketing plan and there's a core distribution plan and there's also a plan to make sure that characters remain true to themselves and maintain their integrity from story to story. All of these standards are in place because you want to have these characters remain consistent so that when one reader picks up a book, from when one creative team leaves and then another comes in, people are following the character and not some creator. And that's another big problem that has plagued the big two these days is that people are following creators and they're not following characters because when your creative teams leave that's what leads to big problems and I saw that way back in 2001 at Marvel when the after they did the 1997 reboot you saw people like Sean Chen leaving Iron Man you saw people like George Perez leaving Avengers you saw people like Kurt Busiek leaving Iron Man and you saw people like Mark Wade leaving Captain America 
what happened was those books went into free fall when a secondary team came on and that secondary team really didn't have the understanding of the characters or where they were and then they took the characters into really bad directions and that's what led to the decline of Marvel in 2001 and 2002 under the Casada era and what they really need again is someone who understands publishing because if you understand publishing when there is a transition from one creative team to another you everybody is on the same page and as one guy is being handed the baton he can then pick up and start telling stories and that creative team can flow without any sort of interruption because what happens these days is one creative team leaves and then the voices change the characterizations change and then another guy has to come in six or seven months later or three or years later and try to clean up the mess that was left by the secondary team and you really need somebody who understands how publishing works to, to make it where you can transition from one creative team to another and that's a big problem that has plagued Marvel and that's what's led to the serious decline that they're in and DC's decline again came from hiring an inexperienced individual who focused on events that really derailed the continuity of the DC universe. You really need again a publishing professional who understands comics, loves comics and can be the face of the company that can regain the trust of all those readers on the sidelines because people love comic books. People care about comic books but the publishers at the big two they have to give somebody a reason to go out and buy comics and you need that leader in charge so that people can have that reason to go out and buy comics and have that trust because they want to see someone there who is going to be that guy who establishes those standards maintains those standards and they know when he's there that things are going to remain rock solid that when this guy is here we know the shop owners know I'm going to get good comics to sell and the fans know they're going to get great comics to buy. And as I see it right now, both Marvel and DC are in desperate need of a change in management. And until they get that serious change in management, I don't see the comic book industry making any sort of serious growth in the future. If you'd like to see me make more videos like this, you can donate to my Patreon by clicking the link in the description box. And if you'd like to try some of the SJS Direct titles, like the ISIS series, the E-Steam series, the Temptation of John Haynes, and the Spinsterella Trilogy, you may do so by clicking the link to Amazon.com. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.